Hey guys, I'm here today to give you a look at a camping mug I got from Poundland. Um, now I did do a video on this already, but I wasn't very happy with it, so sorry if I'm just going over the same information for you. Uh, but for anyone who didn't see my last one, this is a metal mug, obviously cost a pound, which is, as you can see, quite large. I fit my fist in there, it's bigger than a regular mug you'd have at home, which makes it quite handy for slipping a bottle in if you're going to have this in your bag and you're worried about it taking up space obviously you could just clip it to the outside of your bag if you wanted to using a carabiner clip on the handle there now the handle is welded on seems quite secure there's no wobble or give in it so far doesn't feel like it's going to break off particularly easily but i'm not sure if i would feel safe having that clipped on the outside of my bag. Um, I don't think it's so solid that I would trust it there, so I think it is better in a bag. Um, but other than the handle not folding in, like I say, you can fit a reasonably large sized water bottle in there. Now it's painted black all over with I tent camping on the front, because I guess they couldn't come up with something to do with camping that looked like a heart. And I'm now going to give you a quick demonstration using it anyway to cook some food in because with the size of it as well as being useful for boiling water and having a brew obviously you can cook food in it so something as simple and as cheap as this could potentially be a lifesaver in a survival situation if you're off traveling abroad it's always handy especially if you're going to be hiking or trekking or something a bit more adventurous to have a metal cup with you because as long as you can boil water you're going to get yourself out of a lot of trouble if you are stranded for a day or two Now you want to make sure that you put your water in the cup before you turn the stove on because if you heat the cup up without any water in it the paint on the inside will quite quickly crack and peel off as I found with the first mug I bought. This is the second one I've bought now to test out with the water in first. So that's just uh, something to take into consideration. Gobbling away there nicely now, pretty much done. Now sometimes the handle can get quite hot as well, so you have to be wary of that. This time it's actually alright, but um, I guess depending on how the wind is coming in and distributing that flame, it can sometimes heat up the handle. But as I say, sometimes it's fine, sometimes it's not. So there we have the Poundland camping mug. Um, for a quid, can't really go wrong, it's not perfect. Like I say, if you're not careful with uh, boiling it with water in, the paint will chip off, so make sure there's water in it before you start boiling it. Um, you start the paint chipping off on your food or drink or whatever. Also, um, even though the handle feels secure, it looks kind of thin where it's connected. So that's still something that I'd be a bit wary of with clipping it on the outside of your bag or whatever. I um, don't think it'd be too hard wearing. But for what it is, for a quid, just for a metal mug, yeah, it's fine. You can see it's cooked this up pretty quickly. It conducts the heat pretty quickly. This is, even though it's a thin mug, it feels solid. Like the mug itself, it's not that kind of flimsy metal where you can press it with your hand and it'll squidge in or anything. It's, it's a nice solid mug. So yeah, if you're looking for one for a quid, I just thought I'd uh, put the information out there for anyone who hasn't seen them in the camping section, Poundland around this time of year. They always have loads of new camping gear in. I like to take a look at just to see what they've got. Anyway, thanks for watching and uh, I'll catch you next time.